So I've made a couple of improvements to my powered flow frame extraction setup. Um, I haven't actually used this in Angi yet. Um, but so the battery is now in a nice little box with uh, some under voltage protection in there and some connectors on it so it's a bit less dodgy. Um, voltage regulator is heat shrinked with a, a socket and a, just a Dean's connector. It's had laying, laying around. Um, so the major difference is in the auger. So I got rid of the I got rid of the um, steel one. Uh, well, I haven't got rid of it. I'm just trying a different design. Um, so this is uh, printed in some kind of PLA mix. I can't remember. Um, but um, it's a bit longer, so it goes all the way down to the bottom. Like it bottoms out inside the flow frame. Um, so it's drawing from the whole trough at once. Um, and it's got a uh, steeper pitch which I'm hoping will help pull the viscous honey out better. Um, I think in general that's the case. Um, I haven't really, I should actually crunch the maths and work out the optimal um, parameters for the, the best screw to draw honey out of something, but uh, there's a lot of factors. Um, so it's the same, same drive gear. Um, and down inside here, there's a grub screw that um, I've just turned up a little steel shaft with some cross-drilled tapped holes and it bites onto this uh, three millimeter brass rod that runs the full length of the, um, the auger um, just to keep as many parts similar as possible um, between the two different setups. Um, so yeah, I'll probably nip that off right up there um, just, you know, brass rod's not that cheap, so I want to try to keep it in one piece for as long as possible. Whoops, I need to slide that back down. Um, so the, the brass rod is there to give, like, a backbone to all the printed parts, because I, I printed these in 100mm uh, sections, so about that. Um, and printing them was actually pretty... Uh, difficult. Um, I wish I had one here that I hadn't peeled, but I print them with a solid, I print them sort of that ways in 100 millimeter mm sections, and then the outside has a skin on it, a skin of support, and um, so it builds the center shaft hole. See that? There we are. Uh, and the thread, the screw, the flutes, the flights, and also like a circular uh, skin on the outside of it um, to support the end. Because if you're trying to print a, a print this thread, sorry about all that tick, 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 the dogs are running around like crazy upstairs. Um, you need something for the, the plastic to bridge to. And so the outside skin provides that. And then when it's finished printing, you just get a pair of, of side cutters and work your way around and peel off that skin that comes off in a nice spiral. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to give this a try. Um, Alright, that's all. Bye-bye.